Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually force this flower open a little bit. Just see up here how it's closed, it's dawn, a uh, dawn, it's dusk, and I just force it open. Now I don't take all of the pollen of these. Uh, this is actually a self-fertile one. So I'm gonna just take a little bit of the top pollen and uh, that's it. Okay, so you see here, same thing. Little different area, but the same sort of thing. I just gently open the flower, expose the uh, um, anthers right there. See, the pistol's not fully open yet, see? But uh, I'm not after the, the pistol, I'm after this pollen grain, all right? So now, okay, so I'm here in the office and um, I'm, I'm just gonna collect my pollen that you just saw. Now, all these uh, vacuum cleaners, they're all slightly different, but they're essentially the same sort of idea where, um, you know, if they don't have a filter, you just have to um, um, clean them out a little bit and collect your pollen, put it in a bowl. And I'm gonna talk about this bowl in a second here for you. But anyway, this is what I do. And then, you know, clean all the little parts, put it in the bowl. Um, All right, so so now this is fresh pollen that I've collected on Sunday evening uh, at dusk, or close to dusk. And I will then return here tomorrow morning and use this pollen for the flowers that will be still open from tonight. They'll persist into the morning. Now, let's look at that pollen. Look. It's more than enough pollen for me. Now I have this little stainless steel bowl and, and I like it because it's deep, so in case it's windy, the pollen doesn't blow out. Also, it's thin enough, they're actually pretty cheap, a couple of dollars if you can find them. Um, the metal will warm up from my hand and it will help to keep the pollen dry. Sometimes you get moisture from either the morning dew or from actually from the flower. And this, um, this system is a really good way to keep your pollen dry because you want dry pollen. So what I'll do, uh, probably won't have an opportunity to photograph it tomorrow, but I normally just rub my, my brush in there, tap it, and then I put it underneath the pistol and then just rub firmly on the pistol. Can you see that? I just tuck this under the pistol. Now if they're way up, of course, I have to reach out and I don't worry about it because I've knocked off the excess pollen. So I'll use this, tap it down, use it, and I get a fertilized flower.